Brian and Carson. Brian and Carson checking in from Barrel Theory. I don't like your face. Wait, where are we? We're not at Barrel Theory. Barrel Theory is next door. We're at we're at some place here. I'm gonna get grease on your camera. Well, that won't be hard to do, you know. Just what do you think? Is this pizza any good? It's all right. All right. It's lacking in the toppings, but it's okay. I'm getting the I'm getting the corner piece. Get a corner piece. Well, I gotta I gotta get. What is it with recording every day? Woo! You know, ha! I feel like our grandparents just had memories. Now everything has to be recorded. Well, you know, when you have memories, only the good things stand out. But when you have recording, even the boring shit, the bad stuff stands out. And a lot of times, the recording comes out when the bad shit is happening, so you can't forget it. It's like you're holding on and I take your head and I smash it. <laughs> Oh. Hey, you know what? That'd be a good way to die. Someone power slam your face into a pizza when you're starving. So that. Dude, I thought I was dying with my fucking uh, As you're dying, dying, you can sit there and eat. You can taste the pizza as you're dying. Yeah, you went to the hospital. You sent me a picture of yourself. It looked really awkward. You were sitting there with an awkward face on. I thought it was having a heart attack. What was the problem? What happened? That's a free bar. Really? This is no joke, man. I probably developed an ulcer. Did you drive there? I called in and I told my company while I was driving, I was like, I gotta go to the hospital. They really? Were like, they were like, do you want an ambulance? I was like, no. They were like, well, just drop off your passengers and get downtown and, and bring the bus back to base. You were at work when this happened? Yeah. I was like having a heart attack. Was, like, my heart was like, Your heart? My heart. Then I went, I went. Dude. I went in and they were like, they did a, they did a blood pressure, EKG, um, oxygen test, they did an x-ray on my chest, everything came back normal, a lot of work, the whole thing. They were like, we think you have um, acid reflux, I was like, what, what's my chest? They are like, well, when you have acid reflux and you develop an ulcer from it, like, it, there's a lot of things that can be pushing on your chest and cause your heart to have heart problems. I was like, really? And they were like, yeah, that, that's a very common thing for acid reflux having heart palpitations. I was like, because like, it feels in my heart. They're like, yeah, it's because you have an ulcer yes, somewhere sir. from acid reflux. So they gave me this uh, um, meprazole, which destroys your stomach. Yeah, yeah. yeah we went up to they gave me that, and it really helps a lot. Do you take it all the time, or once a day? Oh, you do. Forever? For thirty days. After that, I gotta change my diet. I gotta, go, I gotta start eating more of like salads and shit. I gotta stop all this, this unhealthy you know, and shit. That I no more pizza, no more beer. No more. My renter, he went to the hospital for a checkup, and they told him, they said, hey, you're like, you're fucking dying because he's an alcoholic. They told him, you're dying. You need to change something. And he comes home with like two 24 packs of hard ciders, and he's like, ah. What and so, know? yeah, and I was like, well, this guy's gonna die in my house. That's not what I want. You should ask him for his social security number and then check out a life insurance policy. And then just feed him shit. I like the way you every, think. Every night, just give him like greasy food. Yeah, I would never like, greasy heart attack food. Or left or yeah. I mean, I oh, sir, oh, oh, Chris, I got you something. It's a bacon sandwich with butter. Get the most expensive life insurance policy you can with high premiums where you just pay it off for you know the huge premiums. Have Paul come over and Paul share a pizza with him. Well, what? Invite Paul over so Paul can share a pizza with him. He'll be dead before you know it. He's got sleep apnea. You like hold his nose and like sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel bad for the guy. I remember the first thing you met him. I was there when he came over. Remember? Yeah. He smelled like ruffle mints the first day he came. I asked him if he had any drug or alcohol problems. He said no. He seems like a nice guy. I talked to him. He's nice. Yeah, he's alright. He likes Dempsey. He was having fun playing with her. I remember that. He's not a bad guy. Yeah, he's alright. He's just an alcoholic. No. A raging alcoholic. Me, I'm like drunk off of one beer. I'm like, ah, I had one beer. Woo! I go off the deep end. I can't drink too much or I go crazy. Oh yeah. There's some pizza right there though. Oh, oh. So good flavor. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the crust has a weird flavor. It's yeah, a good. It's are good though. It's a good flavor, but it's an unusual crust. I almost suspect that it's gluten free. It's not. I can tell you, as a matter of fact, it is not gluten free. Gluten free crust is not like this. I know. I've made gluten free crust in Atlanta. It's not nasty. Like it falls apart. It's so there's nothing to bind it together. Yeah. Sweet gluten. I gotta have blood work done to see what my allergies are. I might be allergic to gluten. I don't know. I got a physical coming up here in two weeks. They're gonna do a full physical. I hope they don't like roll my ass off. But it's a full physical, so I don't know what's gonna happen. You're gonna do a blood work, you're gonna tell me. They're exactly gonna just shove their hand up your ass. I know. And they're gonna be like, and then they're, then they're gonna come back, they're like, I'm gonna be like, so what happened? What, what's the deal with the physical? Like, what physical? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like that guy who just stuffed his finger in my ass, and I'm like, no, there's what nobody. guy? What and then it turns out it was like, it's like a homeless guy who walked in and like threw a smock on him, pretending to be an opera. They're, they're, they're like, Frankie, Frankie, did you make it in here again? Are you are you are you playing with buttholes again? Get out of here, Frankie. He's got like a long beard. He's got like dirty yellow teeth. He's like I'm he's, here for your friend. He's like I, I'm sorry. They're like it's okay, Frankie. Just get out of here. Meanwhile, you you're all violated. Frankie in your in your rectum. He's like yeah, that's good. I like that, don't you? I'm like, did they feel irregular? I, will, like, I don't know. I'll tell you something though. A lot of those doctors are creepy pedophiles like that. They are. I just had my DOT physical the other day. Now, I was doing the math because I've had a lot of physicals in my life. I'm starting to think the amount of women who have touched my balls versus the amount of men are probably even. Really? With how many physicals? Clearly, I've had more women touch my balls than women, or than guys. I've never had like hundreds of women. You know, I'm like, I like, like probably just over a dozen. So, and you, you think about how many physicals there are. I've got a lot of physicals in my life. So I think I've had quite close to as many men touch my balls as I've had women. Yeah, some of those doctors though are real creeps. They really are. My doctor's fine. One time, I went in for a cold. So I had a stuffy nose and like an earache. And the doctor wanted me to get naked <laughs> and put on a gown. Is that an old Polaroid camera? Right. I was like, why would you want me to do that? He's like, well, we need to check you up. And I was like, I've been to the doctor many, many times throughout my life and I've never been asked to drop trow and expose my dick for a cold. So I told the guy, I was like, hey, I think you're, I think you might be gay or something, you know? And he was, he was like, He's like, no, no, if you're not comfortable, I was like, I'm obviously not comfortable. And he was like, okay. I was like, and, and by the way, I want another doctor. I was really sick. I'm not going to drop trowel for an ENT. Probably like back in like 2007, 2008, I can't remember what year it was. I got really sick one time. And I, 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 I ended up finding out that I had like cute calls from ginger virus. Ginger. It was fucked up. Ginger. I was sick from How did you get gingivitis? Don't you flop?